So to recap, there are a number of changes that we see with the origins of early HOMO. One of them is an increase in body size. The body size is likely to be variable throughout this time period. Corresponding with an increase in body size is probably an increase in home range size. Individuals were traveling longer distances on a daily basis because they had increased energetic efficiency associated with those longer limbs. Now, one of the things associated with this may have been this beginning of dispersal patterns out of Africa. Larger home ranges means more territory covered, means more area per population, which might mean even if the population isn't expanding, you might begin to see an expansion of the overall species into different habitats. Part of this dispersal may have followed water routes, as those may have provided not only key resources for hominids to use, but also may have dampened the effects of increased seasonality as hominids moved into temperate environments. But certainly in larger body sizes and the beginnings of a pattern of dispersal, something we'll return to when we talk about Homo erectus, are a key characteristic of the origin of early Homo.